yeah, sleep with different people. So in that, mm. let's say it's been like years since you've really embraced that. How many people would you have slept with in that year? Yeah, give us some numbers. Uh, probably 300. <laughs> Jesus. In one year. I uh, I had a lover once and they had been with like 300 people. A lot of my friends in like the kink community, BDSM community, they tend to have like body counts of anywhere from like zero to like 400, 500, 600. Because it's like, I don't know, Orgy Wednesdays was a thing. So what are we counting as a body? Yeah. Would that be the average or is it like a big lump sum in one session? Oh, in a day, five. Oh. In one day. What? I think she's lying. I think it could be true, but I also think it could be a lie. Because, like, girl, you get thigh burn. You get, like, like tired. You get, like, I don't know. Do I believe her? Do we believe her? Like, how would you have the time? I just don't know if I believe her. I think it's to go viral. I just don't think it's real. Like, I'm going to be real with you. It is very inconvenient to meet five people a day to have sex. It's, like, so inconvenient. You know what I mean? I don't know if I believe her. I think it's a, I think it could be a fib. SB says, do you, you don't consider oral sex, so that wouldn't count as a body, right? Yeah, like, I feel like, well... Uh, when I hear body count, I'm assuming they mean like all the way we've done everything we can like do to an extent to feel like s has occurred. So yeah, if like she's just sucking d a bunch, like who cares? Or she's just like eating girls out, like who f***ing cares? You know what I mean? Like I just don't think that could matter. Like even if they, she had a body count, like to me, body count's so irrelevant. I don't really care. All right, guys, got a banger of an interview right now with the... <laughs> meditated i before the 300 people in a year i think my body count was like 12 um mm -hmm. and i was like you know i haven't had that much sexual experience i had an only fans at the time i was like starting to be a bit more sexually open trying new things like it was more of like a me thing just to like yeah that makes sense i've seen a lot of those yeah that makes sense explore myself i guess and then and it's so funny that like i explored myself by letting others explore my insights yeah exactly that makes total sense to me that's exactly vibes literally vibes yeah someone you know in order to explore yourself you have to you know hire a little jack who's still to go in the death of your yeah and it's 300 and 299 bodies to come through as well 399 jj says um does body count matter if one partner has 100 and the other person has only three only if it matters to them it doesn't matter to me though i wouldn't care if i was someone with some with somebody with zero or a thousand like it just doesn't matter like my brain can't process it as mattering you know even this like ab like i think ab is making a little bit of a joke but like this can't matter to my brain like, i learned something about myself when i've had sex with people i've always learned something about them if the tool doesn't serve you and you're not learning anything new you might want to stop doing that but at the same time sometimes you just like sex what's wrong with it it's pretty nice i would say be healthy about it i don't think body count necessarily means not healthy but it could some people think like being a virgin is inherently unhealthy some people think being a virgin is like very bad like it's a bad sign but i just don't think that like i just don't think that's true i think it's probably it, it could be a result of something bad and same with having 300 partners in a year it could be a result of something bad but it doesn't automatically mean that right and says it's all sex oral vaginal you know all of it is sex for a reason i don't get why we only think of piv um yeah i think everyone's different like some people do consider it sex. i just don't again if i was on tinder and i came home with a guy or a girl a guy specifically and a guy was like let's have sex and then he just went down on me i'd be like oh are we not having sex because like in my mind like we we just got that's foreplay bro is foreplay sex like it could be if it is to you great but for me again to me means something because that's just my bubble and how I perceive it. But like everyone is different. I'm not saying you have to do it my way. But yeah, if I came over to your house and I sucked your and you're like, okay, we're done. I'd be like, like what's going on? But yeah, I never expected any of this to happen and it definitely was not planned, which is insane. So is that 12 people total or 12 people per year prior to this? Is it 12 people? Was that like 12 total? And then you went to the 300? 12 people. Yeah, 12 people total. And then 300. Okay, so now let's get into the juicy stuff here. Because, okay, so first and foremost here, like, because <laughs> I got to ask, because a lot of people are asking DM, because we have a rating system, I'm able to kind of gauge, you know, guys are able to gauge, I'm married now, I don't gauge anything, by the way, nothing. <laughs> nothing, so happily married. Um, <laughs> you look like you're lying. I don't know what, <laughs> what it is you're lying about. No, is he lying or is he just like making it clear? Maybe which just sounds suspicious. What is your rating system when you're going through, you know, picking the 300? Is it like they gotta be a seven and up? What's your rating of a seven? Have you lowered your standards to get to the 300? No, I am seriously picky. Like I would not go below a seven. Obviously personality is probably more important to me, but if it is just gonna be a one night stand, then 
I would rather go off looks because at the end of the day, we're not going to be doing that much talking. How picky could you be? I don't even like 300 people. How pick girl, you ain't picky. I'm picky, girl. Mm -mm. You're not even that picky, girl. I'm picky. No, girl. I'm sorry. You can't have a body count of 300 in a year and be like, I'm picky. How are you that? You can't be that picky. I mean, how picky could you be? You know what I mean? Like, I don't even like that many people. I don't even meet that many people in a year I like to talk to. Like, how are you going to find three people that's mm -mm, 30? That person mm -mm, would mm -mm. probably be with you and dating you to some degree, or you just don't want to date at all. Yeah, I think, like, honestly, it's crazy because my criteria is very simple. I want a guy who's loyal, family oriented, um, kind, non judgmental. Um, intelligent. Yeah, good point. Miss Fishy says I'm picky. Well, I'm picky. Many things she mentions is looks. I mean, I guess that is pickiness, though. You could be picky when it comes to looks, right? Who's like just like equal to the way that I think, and also my morals. Like, is she talking about dating or is she talking about because now she's talking about dating? A lot of people say I don't have any morals, but I do. Um, so someone who well, everybody has morals, their internal values that you have for yourself. So of course she has morals on the same page as me with that. So it, they're not that crazy, but it is really hard to find a loyal, honest, nice guy these days. Um, and maybe I you're looking in the wrong places. Just... Maybe you're looking in the wrong places. I mean... you... I'm pretty open minded. Any woman sleeping with five dudes in a day. I'm going to think she got problems. I'm going to think she has too much time on her hands. So it tells me she has problems. Like if you're sleeping with five dudes a day and you're not even getting paid. So a part of me is like, do you work? Because like, he, how do you have time to see them, f them, clean up? Because like, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Like when would she shower? When would she eat? When would she poop? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Unless it's your job. Yeah. See, unless it's your job. Which even then, you probably have job problems for doing that job. But like, yeah, it doesn't make sense. How could she even do that time-wise? Yeah, I think it's a lie. I think it's probably a fib to go viral. I just, I kidding. I'm going to make a story up that I slept with 3,000 people during the 10 years I was in BDSM. Clip it. Clip it right now. I slept with 3,000 people in the 10 years I was doing BDSM. 3,000. I slept with 30 a night. Clip it, guys. Somebody clip it. Five niggas in one day? Maybe she poops during? Good point, SB. You can be open-minded <clears throat> open minded as, as, as much as you want. Op five, five people in a day is exhausting. I yeah, this just sounds tiring. I don't even want to talk to any of you. Five people a day? Yui says maybe she doesn't clean up. Care how much you like it, I think most people look at that. And if that was a dude in your place, they'd be like, he's an addict. Yeah. A guy that does five girls a day? In one, in one day? That's crazy. That's a lie. I mean, These stories are obviously fake. Yeah, I think they're fake too, right? This is fake. Like, this is what I mean. We're taking it so seriously. Like, the girl who went viral for OF, it ended up being a fake story. But everyone's like, how much of our our judgment of humanity is on based off fake stories? That's my question. How much are we judging people based off stories that are completely fabricated and fake for virality or for the news? That's the new thing I'm questioning myself on is like, is this even a real story? Is this even real? Because we are so captivated by covering the stories. But I honestly just, I think they're fake. Like Leo Skeppy is definitely fake. The OnlyFans girl ended up being fake. This girl sounds fake as fuck. It's like, the, you know what I mean? Hearing all this stuff and as open-minded as I am, you need to meet someone way more open-minded than me. And mm -hmm. I feel like I lean pretty far more open-minded than most men I know. Interesting. Do we think ABBA is more open-minded than most men he probably knows? Probably more than the men he knows. That's interesting. I like that ABBA thinks of himself as open-minded, actually. That's really lovely. I don't know how open-minded he really is, but he is. I definitely say more open-minded as the years go by. Absolutely. That's why I like watching the growth. Interesting. I mean, we're all open and closed-minded on a spectrum. Even I am closed-minded about certain things, right? Sure. Because most men I know here, a girl's got a high body count and no. they lose it. it yeah, or it they not with it. Yeah, it wouldn't be It wouldn't be that. Ah, is he saying he's okay to high body count? I don't think I know any guy personally mm -hmm. who would hear a girl did 300 dudes in one day, in one, one year, and they would be cool with it. Five in one day is crazy to me. You ask any ex workers and 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 she, she... Great point, Stephen. What is the criteria we are using to divine open-minded? Ah, great point. Um, I'll hear anyone's story out, but I won't necessarily agree with you, but I'll hear you out. I'll listen to your arguments. I might be open to being swayed because I think mo most things work. I think things work, even if it works for just one person, I could be open to it working in general, but I don't know, you know, cases. I think Abba is more open-minded than the bubbles he's in and surrounds himself with. That's probably true. He also is, 
Yeah, he does seem he I could see that. Absolutely. If you aren't anti LGBT in the black community, you're open minded. Well, Abba's definitely more L uh, pro LGBT as the years go by for sure. Yeah. Mm. When she's doing that, she's not she's not charging for that. She just goes about doing her thing. Right. So. When you ask any ex workers if it's a problem for them to find someone, everyone's gonna tell you, yeah, it 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 it, it, it is a it problem. It can be a problem. Yeah. It is gonna be difficult to find Look, being a devout religious person, it's hard to find someone. Being a very progressive sex worker, it's hard to find somebody. Like it's always harder to find someone when you're more in the extremes than in the middle. Because most people are probably in the more middle. And so it is harder, right? To an extent. Find someone. It's not gonna be easy to find someone that's going to be able to be like yeah no that's cool but yeah i'm ready i'm ready to settle down i'm ready to find someone um i'm not just out here to you know fuck people over or anything like that like i do want to settle down and i want to have a family no see, see uh, okay what's wrong what's wrong people say i'm ready to settle down i'm ready to do this i'm ready to do this you can't be settling down when you fucking five dudes in one day you can't well she, uh, mm, she has to stop dudes don't you care you ain't got time you ain't got time well no, no abba's right she can't say you can't say i'm ready to settle down and keep five dudes a day you have to kind of get yourself ready for marriage which is difficult because what does that look like like if i was okay if i met my husband and he had had a lover at the time i probably wouldn't have engaged with him to an extent right because like he would have been busy if i had had somebody in my life i probably wouldn't have had time to date him right even someone casual i am the category of person that i actually find it pretty difficult to actively have a lover and uh do other things because like i would have to stop talking to the lover in order to focus on the dater so like i prepared myself right i stayed single i went to therapy i finished out that i like lived my life was improving my career and then this person came into my life and it was great and we met at the perfect time to kind of like be ready for one another yeah i don't think i could have i probably wouldn't have pursued him if he had like an active if he was active with somebody because i would have just like been like he doesn't have time and he probably wouldn't have had time you know um the problem with even having lovers or buddies is like they get attached to their schedules as well and it's not always easy just like turning it off and on with people we were lucky that we had no attachments to anybody so when we met we could put all of our attention on one another you know time to get to know anybody you ain't got time to really invest yourself with somebody you're too busy entertaining everything else even but if she stops and she gives herself some time then i could get it but then <clears throat> What if you don't, don't meet anyone for like six years? Are you not going to get laid? And that's the hard part. If I don't meet anyone in the six years, was it worth? Or what if I don't meet my person at all? Is it worth not having sex with people? You know what I mean? And says, I think this woman is just marking herself. I think I think it's for her OnlyFans. This kind of rhetoric is rage bait for men on the internet. They lose their mind when a woman is high. Oh, with the high body count stuff. Um, and is like, I'm ready to settle down. I think it's for her OnlyFans. I bet her OnlyFans is blowing up. Just a reminder that in my BDSM days, I had f with 3,000 3, people in my years in the BDSM. 30 people a day minimum. Clip it. Somebody clip it. But yeah, I think it's for her OnlyFans. I think this is just publicity. I don't think this is true. Even trying to date multiple people seriously is incredibly difficult. It's time consuming. Managing a real job, managing your own business, True. and trying to fuck somebody new every day, you're True. not going to do it. You're not going to do it. it that's why so I don't think it's real. You're talking about, oh my God, I'm ready to settle down and be serious and be family oriented. You just went from the most hedonistic lifestyle True. and you think you're just going to turn it off like a switch. I say this thing to dudes all the time. Dudes who think like, I'm going to keep fucking around and doing everything I want and I'm going to just meet someone the next day and it's all going to work True. out. That's not how it works. Amen. Ab is preaching. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I just think so. I agree. You can't just undo a lot of the habits that you built, the kind of dopamine rush that you built into your brain of discovering somebody new. And think you can it takes a discipline automatically switch like they in religious bubbles they would say it like takes a discipline to prepare yourself for your spouse it's like somebody who wants to be like all right i'm ready to go sober let me down three more bottles of henny before i finish up that's not the way you you get off an addiction you don't get off an addiction by just instantly going cold turkey <clears throat> for most people that leads to really bad relapse mm. for the vast majority of people and they start going at it again and again and again and Even again worse than the one they were there. in fact the odds of failing are far more likely than not and what are you going to do while you wait 
Sausage fest. This the same thing. It's so you're still gonna be there. So now I understand. I 100 percent understand what you're saying. When you're saying that, yo, you're not setting it's yourself be up. Going down her alley, okay? They just gonna be flying. Yeah, apparently there's something about sensational, especially the OnlyFans shit. There's something about sensationalizing numbers and everything else that gets people going. They love the sensationalism. It's like the women who go on the Red Pill podcast. They make so much money because men hate them for being whores and then pay them anyways. I love humans. They're so great. Could you imagine if no. I'm looking at a girl and I'm thinking of approaching her and all of a sudden I see dicks flying by her head. I'm like, you yeah, know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I think it's a lifestyle thing. Again, I really, going into 2024, I want to talk about lifestyle. I think it's about the lifestyle. So once again, it's like, what's your lifestyle? What's your vibe? I'm not moralizing it. Again, I don't think body count matters. I don't think it tells me much about you. Um, in the same way that I don't think it matters if you're a virgin, like it doesn't tell me much about you. You know what I mean? It's just like, oh, cool. Why'd your life go that way? Oh, you have 300 body count. How'd your life go that way? And then they can explain it to you, right? So I would say like, if you're actively talking and you're busy with people, like, you're probably more social than I am. Well, we're probably not going to get along because like, I'm not really that social and I'd rather like stay home most of the time. And if you're willing to socialize with five different people a day or 300 people a year, you're willing to socialize at a, at a rate that I'm not willing to. And yeah, you might just stop it all and want to hang out in a house and never leave. Uh, but you're probably not right. So again, it's about lifestyle. That's what, that's how I would have the conversation. Like, Oh my gosh, what's your lifestyle? Like what's your dream lifestyle? Like, how are you living it? Um, because again, lots of people talk a pretty good game. I can't blame them. Dreaming is, it's nice to dream, but I'm looking for somebody who's more like compatible with the lifestyle. Again, I'm really lucky. I married somebody who likes to stay home as much as I do. It's really nice. <laughs> it just feels so nice. Like we went for our walk today and getting home was just like so nice. Like, oh my gosh. It always feels like a great feeling coming home. My mom always said that's a really good sign when you really love coming back home. And I really love coming back home. Like I'm rolling up to a business place and some dude just popping out like, oh, enjoy your turn. I, I, I don't know. That's a little bit too much for me. Two tap on the shoulder. <laughs> your turn, buddy. <laughs> Imagine if there's like wrestling ropes and the motherfucker <laughs> comes out, tag team. <laughs> Let's go. And I just go. <laughs> tag me in, brother. Yeah, the right person hasn't come along yet, so I'm just going to keep waiting. <laughs> I, I definitely wasn't doing it for virality. It wasn't it wasn't for anyone else but for me. I just wanted to So what'd you learn about yourself? Ooh, bad pause. To experience lots of different people. Like I said, I'd been like pretty, I don't know, like non-sexual beforehand. So I just wanted to I'm like, I'm young, I want to experience life. You know, I'm turning twenty seven this year. I feel like while I'm young, I should go out and have fun and trying to do her what this year? To experience lots of different people. Like I said, I'd been like pretty I don't know, like non-sexual beforehand. So I just wanted to, I'm like, I'm young. I want to experience life. You know, I'm turning 27 this year. I feel like, well, oh, 27. I'm young. I should go out and have fun. And I don't think there's anything wrong with what she's saying. You want to experience, you know, do looks, but that's fine. You know, you want to dabble some drugs. Great. Don't start doing meth. Until you're older. <laughs> you know, don't be like, oh, I want to try new things. Heroin. <laughs> no. Until you're older. That's meth for your dating life. You look like you got holes and sores all over your body. They're not she there, know? but they're in everyone's brains when they think of you as a wife. I see the alley. My girl's doing meth well, for- Well, it's not like it's the wife and it's who you're married to. I don't think Hugh Hefner would care if his wife had a body count of 300. Like, would you want to marry Hugh Hefner? So that's the question, right? It's not really like the body count or the wife part. Lots of people would wife a girl up who's had 300 partners. It's like we're all imagining and projecting what we think being a wife is, and it doesn't look like Hugh Hefner's life, but like Hugh Hefner had three wives, so. Dating. So I just wanted to say, it's okay to try new things. A little <clears throat> moderation. Nice, Abba, very good. Like I like, see that's open-minded. It's okay to try new things. Just be mindful and balanced. It doesn't hurt either. I think I want to take this time to like really explore lots of different people before, yeah, I am ready to settle down and get married mm -hmm. and, and with the same. See, I get bored after like, so many people like aren't people all the same like that's the problem is like my brain like i just feel like people are people everywhere so like i don't know coffee is coffee um sex is sex i don't know it only gets more interesting the closer i am to a person so 300 people in a year like what could she be discovering about herself that could be any different that's my problem is like i think i would already be like okay i got it like i slept with like what 
uh, every time I do this body count thing, I always forget the number because I always separate it into categories of like who was just oral and who was penetrative. So I always have to recount, but it's definitely less than 10. So let's just say like less than 10. I think it's eight or 10, nine, eight or eight, depending four. If the, well, it depends like what kind of sex are we talking about? Right. But either way, it doesn't matter. I'd have to recount it all. Anyways, the point is, is that even when I think about who I've been with, uh, yeah, it was like, how much more sex do I need to have to be like, oh, okay, I got it. I understand it now. Next. But maybe that's neurodivergency. Maybe it's like, yeah, once I've done it, like how many, like suck on a dick, how many you gotta suck to know like what it is? For me, I don't know. I just, every day I would wake up and I'd be like, okay, well, who am I gonna go on a date today? There's a lot of people that whenever they get to with, <clears throat> in the dating apps and stuff like that, one thing that you see often is people wanna have, they wanna meet someone that has no baggage or all their baggage is dealt with. Your baggage is public. Yeah, but your 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 baggage is public. That's not what I'm talking. Is it baggage? Is a body count automatically baggage? See, only if you count it as baggage. I don't think body count is baggage, or a lack of body count is baggage. So I don't care. Like I don't think you being a virgin is baggage. I don't think you sleeping with 300 people is baggage, unless the reasons. Let's say you're a virgin because um. You actually suffered from like misogyny your whole life and never wanted to sleep with a woman because you thought they were all whores. Well, I would say that's baggage, right? And then same, if you slept with 300 guys to seek validation because you never loved yourself and still don't, then that's baggage. But I don't think like being a virgin or having a big body count is automatically baggage. Zen says, I feel like I don't have what it takes to be in a relationship. I'm too boring. What do you talk about all day? I mean, some relationships don't talk. You know, some relationships, like, you don't have to talk. Some people talk less. I'm just a talker. My partner and I are just talkers. But, like, not everybody talks, right? And what do you talk about all day? Well, usually, do you talk to yourself? Oh, that's the question. Because I talk to myself all day. My family, all of us are big verbalizers. We talk out loud to ourselves almost all day. All of, like, mo not all of us, but a lot of us do talk out loud to ourselves. So, like, even if I'm alone in the house, I will talk out loud to myself. I will have full conversations with voice inflections and everything. So maybe it's, like, a personality thing, right? Because, like, even with my husband in the house, I talk to myself all the time. And he, like, walks out. He's like, who are you talking to? And I'm like, myself, bro. And same. We both do that. We, like, talk to ourselves. And then we come and monologue to each other. Blah, 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 blah boom but what you have behind you mm -hmm. but hey good point discord says maybe she just hasn't figured out how to orgasm yet maybe it comes with public it, it's public yes it, it comes with broadcasted publicly broadcasted luggage and that's people people are gonna look at it like mm. okay so what is the goal next year so 300 are we going for 400 or are you gonna start bringing it down and start to kind of hone in on finding the Great right question. guy I think now it's changed a little bit. I have what I call my regulars, which are like, a, it's like eight to nine people that I sort of will rotate with, I guess. It sounds so yeah. bad, but they know about what I do and who I am. Um, so they've agreed to it. And yeah, it's just like, you know, if I'm chilling in bed, I'll message one of them. They'll come over and maybe the next day I'll have another one over. Appreciate you coming on and answering <laughs> the questions openly and honestly. And it means a lot. Thank you. No, thank you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks, Andy. And uh, go for Yeah, I just think it's a fake story. I believe she probably has eight or nine people though. That's more believable. Follower Annie K N I G H T. So, so yeah, things are opening up, and maybe you know we'll see you in a movie or something like that down the road. Like a like a, like a, non like a p movie. <laughs> my man said we'll see you in a movie. No, my man said I hope things open up. <laughs> they already <laughs> opened. But but he said we'll see. She got films up on 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 the hub. I'm sure. You can check her only fans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My thoughts on this? It is a sickness. Sickness. Of the highest order. I don't approve. This woman has been lost. I think that I don't care about what you do when you do it. Though Amen. you have to understand what ramification it does to you, your psyche, and your health. It's just that. It, 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 as long as you understand that, do you. Wow. Amen. Amen. I don't have to approve or disapprove shit. I ain't so dead. But you have to, and you should do you. But, you know, to anything that you do, there are consequences. Okay. All right. Well, that's it for today's video. Yeah, I think that that's a really good point, right? Like, as long as you know, to the best of your ability, what you're doing and the consequences, like, it's fine. I think it's more reasonable to have, like, 
a couple of people you have in rotation or people that you know, like that makes sense to me. Like, yeah, of course, like that makes sense. Um, I think that's much more doable. I don't really think like five people a day is very doable, but I mean, some people have a lot of time on their hands. I just think it's probably a fake story in general, um, but I don't need to moralize it. I just don't think there's no, I don't, I don't think there's a reason to moralize virgins or moralize people with high body counts. I just don't think it matters. It only matters why they did those things. You know, that's the conversation, right? In my head, in real life while I'm dead, my belly's being fed and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine, not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed, so why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking. Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool Dun, 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 dun.